Meet Angavu from Kenya. She is thrilled as she has just discovered that she's pregnant with her first child. Alongside the excitement is also some anxiety as she lives in a region where malaria is a constant threat. It's early days. Angavu is in her first trimester. That means there are no medicines available to prevent her from catching malaria. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, Moino Lua is pregnant and recently fell sick, suffering from fever, chills, and headaches. She is suffering from clinical malaria. She is also HIV positive and receives preventive treatment against opportunistic infections, which are diseases that occur or are more severe in people with weakened immune systems. Because of the medication she takes to prevent opportunistic infections, she cannot take the drug used to prevent malaria in pregnant women and is now worried about the impact that the disease will have on her pregnancy. In Thailand, Lamai has recently given birth to a beautiful baby girl, Anjali, who she's nursing. This is a precious yet delicate time in the lives of her and her baby, and the fear of catching malaria is something that crosses her mind constantly. As it stands, there are few recommended medicines she can take to prevent relapses if she contracts Plasmodium vivax malaria, the more common type of malaria in Asia. These women are part of the nearly 130 million women at risk in malaria-prone areas each year. There are numerous reports on the adverse effects of malaria in pregnancy and birth, including miscarriage, stillbirth, premature birth, neonatal mortality, and babies born with a low birth weight. In 2022, according to the WHO's 2023 World Malaria Report, 393,000 babies were born in Africa with low birth weight because of malaria in pregnancy. According to some estimates, malaria also causes 10,000 maternal deaths annually. In response, Medicines for Malaria Venture launched the Malaria in Mothers and Babies MIMBA initiative in 2020 to raise the standard of care for pregnant and lactating women affected by malaria and their newborns by accelerating the discovery, development and delivery of anti-malarial options for this at-risk population. Pregnant women have been systematically excluded from drug trials for fear of causing harm to them and their babies. Consequently, it can take 20 years for a medicine to be approved for use in pregnant women. MMV's MIMBA strategy aims to close this data, time, medicine and access gap by gathering safety and efficacy data on existing antimalarials and generating evidence for new ones, accelerating development of new drugs for pregnant women, prioritizing the development of new drugs that can serve everyone from the start, increasing the availability and accessibility of high-quality antimalarials, especially in hard-to-reach areas. This includes efforts to support local manufacturing of antimalarial medicines, advocating for change beyond the field of antimalarial R&D, such as policymaking and education. Despite the progress being made, we must continue to respond to the needs of everyone who is at risk of malaria with a greater focus on underserved groups who are most affected by this terrible disease. Initiatives like MIMBA will help pregnant and lactating women like Angavu, Moinolua and Lamai across endemic regions, ensuring that they and their babies can live malaria-free.